A turning of the calendar means that Netflix is clearing its library of old content and bringing in a truckload of fresh additions. The streamer has announced an impressive slate of movies and television shows that will be new to Netflix throughout April 2020. Among the streamer's early dump of popular previously released action titles are several franchise entries, including all four installments of the classic action hit Lethal Weapon, which shows up April 1st. Once you've got your fix of Mel Gibson and Danny Glover's Spitfire chemistry, you'll want to try your hand at several other action entries that are classics in their own right. Among them are the 90s video game adaptation Mortal Kombat on the first, and for Quentin Tarantino buffs, his bloody Academy Award-winning 2013 feature Django Unchained, which arrives on the 25th. You'll also be able to stream Angel Has Fallen, the third entry in the so-so Fallen franchise. This installment follows Agent Mike Banning, played by Gerard Butler, after he's framed for an assassination attempt on the US president. If you've seen either of the other two Fallen movies, you pretty much know what to expect. Look for that on April 4th. Despite having several oldies but goodies populating this month's list of action and adventure releases, Netflix is clearly banking on one new film to be its number one streaming hit of spring 2020. That's the Joe and Anthony Russo produced Chris Hemsworth led film Extraction, which follows a fearless black market mercenary's rescue of an imprisoned crime lord's son. Look for that to drop on April 24th. The current quarantine may find you more reliant than normal on your gadgets, something that's sure to have you questioning your ongoing relationship with your home's digital intelligence. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know that one. Why? Because humans are a fragile species who have no idea what's coming next. If the pandemic has you pondering how you and your tech are going to get along trapped inside your home together for the next few months, consider watching these films from some of science fiction's greatest minds. If you haven't sat down for a Neo binge lately, you can re-enter the simulation with all three parts of the Wachowskis' game-changing Matrix trilogy. Or watch Tom Cruise as he attempts to survive a very flawed futuristic crime technology in the Philip K. Dick-inspired Minority Report. Look for those on the first of the month. And despite its lukewarm critical reception, Battle Los Angeles Extraterrestrial invaders might be just the thing you're looking for. Look for that one on the 27th. Netflix has a solid list of drama titles dropping this month. For those looking to escape the now for the good old days, Netflix has a handful of April editions right up your alley. On April 16th, consider distracting yourself with the likes of Hollywood A-listers Josh Brolin, George Clooney, and Scarlett Johansson in Hail Caesar, a 2016 comedic mystery drama that centers on fixer Eddie Mannix's scramble to save kidnapped actor Baird Whitlock and his swords and sandals epic from certain death. Sure. Good. Good stuff. There's also the music-infused Cadillac Records, about the turbulent lives of 1940s musicians, or the high-stakes drama Molly's Game, about an aspiring Olympian who builds an underground poker empire. Netflix also has a few darker April offerings, including Robert De Niro's wholly unsettling turn as Travis Bickle in the iconic film Taxi Driver, or Jesse Eisenberg's performance as the only sometimes unsettling Mark Zuckerberg in the Facebook origin story The Social Network. All of those drop on the first. Though March 19th, 2020 marked this year's spring solstice, it never really feels like the new season until April 1st. That makes it the perfect time to opt for a movie that brightens, not dampens, your day. These comedy titles coming to Netflix in April 2020 will make the job of cheering yourself up by getting in a good laugh a lot easier. Ed Helms is helping lead the comedic charge this month, first with his starring role as the uptight dentist Stu in The Hangover, arriving April 1st, and then with his turn in an all-new Netflix original, starring opposite Taraji P. Henson in Coffee and Kareem, Helms plays police officer James Coffey, whose relationship with Vanessa Manning is being sabotaged by her 12-year-old son Kareem. Things take a turn when the boy and Helms must team up to save her. Look for that on the second. In addition to a slew of comedy specials, there's a Ryan Reynolds addition to the Netflix library that may or may not win you over, though it certainly delivers on the same one-of-a-kind comedic charm that made the actor a perfect fit for Deadpool. You son of a Samantha, you're here! Just Friends is a Christmas comedy about a high school nerd played by Reynolds who tries to escape the friend zone of his longtime crush and best friend. And you can stream it on the first of the month. For those looking for funnies in a different comedic medium, stream Chris D'Elia's newest stand-up comedy special, No Pain, on April 14th. 
spring might signal brighter days ahead, but that doesn't mean you still can't enjoy a darker flick on Netflix. The streamer is offering a decent amount of sinister fare in April 2020. From deadly siblings, roommates, and neighbors to clowns and demons, Netflix's thriller and horror offerings for April are frightfully fantastic. Start the month with classics that go out of this world for their chills like killer clowns from outer space, or tackle your fears of being replaced with a roommate, or 2017's The Killing of a Sacred Deer on April 5th, which follows a cardiovascular surgeon and his wife after their picture-perfect suburban life is disrupted by a fatherless teen who inserts himself into their lives. End the month with a brand new Netflix original, Dangerous Lies, a star-studded mystery thriller starring Riverdale's Camilla Mendez. Look for that on the 30th. Disney and Pixar have dominated the animation field for years, while anime has largely remained an offshore import. But with a wide range of highly popular releases like Voltron Legendary Defender, She-Ra, Beastars, Castlevania, and Devilman Crybaby, Netflix is drawing a future where it's a true competitor in the genres. April 2020 Library Editions continue Netflix's trend of offering subscribers a variety of new and classic anime and animation. The month's most interesting include the original series The Midnight Gospel, which follows a so-called space caster looking for the meaning of life across the galaxy. That's touching down on the 20th. There's also the arrival of the film that birthed Dominion's mania, Despicable Me, on the 16th, as well as two chapters in the classic Bleach anime franchise, Bleach the Assault and Bleach the Bount. Both of those land on the 21st. Pokemon fans can also check out the third season of Pokemon the series Sun and Moon, subtitled Ultra Legends on the 1st of the month. April showers might see you confined to your house even if common sense doesn't, and that means you'll need much more than a cinematic distraction. Good thing Netflix has a bunch of binge-worthy television series hitting the streamer service in April 2020. Rick and Morty fans who haven't caught one of showrunner Dan Harmon's earliest gems, Community, can load up the show when all six seasons drop at the start of the month. The series follows a group of heartwarming but oddball community college students who try to survive their non-traditional post-secondary education and each other. Show's gonna last three weeks! Six seasons and a movie! On the more dramatic side, expect to see new seasons from the Ricky Gervais grief-centric drama Afterlife appearing on the 24th. You'll also be able to catch two new small-screen originals. First up on the 15th is Out of Banks, a young adult treasure-infused mystery about eight teens who search for one's missing father leads to a treasure map and a long-buried secret. The second, Never Have I Ever, arrives on the 27th, and is a coming-of-age drama about a modern first-generation Indian-American teen. The series comes from the mind and life of the office alum Mindy Kaling. While you're busy social distancing, you'll really have no excuse not to get your money's worth with that Netflix subscription. There's no worse feeling than opening up the app on your streaming device of choice to discover that classic flick you are finally going to watch has departed from the roles without ceremony. If any of these features are on your Netflix bucket list, it's time to get after them with a renewed sense of urgency. On April 29th, Nicolas Cage's family adventure movie National Treasure is taking a bow. The 2004 feature film from Walt Disney Pictures was produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and stars Cage alongside an all-star cast consisting of Harvey Keitel, Sean Bean, Justin Bartha, Chris Plummer, and Diane Kruger. Cage plays historian and cryptologist Benjamin Franklin Gates, a man on a quest to uncover the lost treasure of the American Freemasons. It's basically the Da Vinci Code for the whole family, which makes it the perfect bit of escapism to help your clan get through these troubled times. Then comes the real culling on April 30th. At month's end, Netflix is saying goodbye to more than 30 classic movies, including the talented Mr. Ripley, True Grit, and Blade Runner The Final Cut. Rating or not, you can shed a few tears over those. All those moments will be lost in time. Still putting off that Police Academy marathon you've been planning since before the holidays? Better get used to it, because the entire film series is on its way out at Netflix. Didn't get your fill of Scorsese's mobster shtick from The Irishman? Well, hurry up and stream Goodfellas, because the 1990 crime story is playing on borrowed time. Both Scream sequels are scheduled to follow suit, as are other horror classics Rosemary's Baby, Friday the 13th, and the 90s witch romp The Craft. If you haven't seen Feruza bulk hamming it up as a teenage Wiccan gone to the dark side, then you haven't lived. 
The beginning of spring is usually a time when most of us turn off the TV, slip out of our soft pants, and squeeze back into some jeans to venture outside from our winter hibernation. Unfortunately, this spring is going to be a little… different. But maybe you're more of a binge watcher than a cinephile. So if cannonballing five seasons of premium television is your preferred coping mechanism, then Netflix has some good news for you in the upcoming weeks. Comparatively, few of the streamers' lauded television series are headed for the exit in April. Early in the month, Netflix is saying Sayonara to American Odyssey Season 1. A 2015 thriller series that originally aired on NBC was adapted from a UK series entitled Simply Odyssey. The first and only season stars Anna Friel and Peter Farsinelli as US military personnel embroiled in an international crisis when a military team on a mission to Mali discovers that an American company has been secretly funding a violent group of Islamic extremists. If you enjoy shows like Homeland and Jack Ryan, American Odyssey just may be your cup of tea. Then, mid-month, all five seasons of Lost Girl are getting, well, lost. The Canadian series began airing on Sci-Fi in the US beginning in 2020 after originally debuting on Showcase in 2010. It stars Anna Silk as Bo, a bisexual succubus in the big city. Perfect for fans of Supernatural or The Vampire Diaries, and with five seasons of demonic content to binge before April 16th, you'd better get cracking ASAP. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.